Just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Glenn Samuel, I'm a landscape and commercial photographer living in Sydney, Australia. Now, today I want to talk to you about landscape photography. Now, I first became involved with landscape photography probably about 20, 25, 26 years ago now. And what I quickly discovered that as with all photography, especially landscape photography, it's all about the light. And I was amazed at how light um, interacted with the scene. But I also quickly learnt how if you didn't understand or if I didn't understand light and the ramifications of not knowing that, what it can and can't do to a landscape image. Now, I quickly learnt this many, many years ago. Uh, I'd say close to 40 years ago now, where I was operating out of my family bathroom when I was a little boy, uh, turned it into a dark room. And that's when I realised how much light was needed to create a photograph or to build a photograph. So in this video, I want to talk to you about a few things about landscape photography, and that is you must build the image. You must own that image. And when you first arrive at a scene, you don't really want to be setting up straight away. You, you just don't even get your camera out of the bag. I suggest that you have a good look around. Look around for different compositions, but more importantly, look to see what the light's doing to uh, the scene in front of you. Because the landscape has a funny way of changing, and it changes due to many reasons, but as a photographer, we need to really look at what the light does to that landscape. And I find that if you spend time in the landscape, embrace it uh, wholly and solely with your mind and your heart, that everything else is second nature when it comes to uh, landscape photography. Now, many people have said, and it's an often asked question, what camera gear do I use. Now a lot of people say that the camera doesn't matter and yes I've been guilty of saying that as well but in actual fact it does matter. The camera you use it does matter and the lenses that you use for this particular genre of photography. So yes it is important but it's not everything. I believe that landscape photography comes from the heart and the mind. It comes from the heart and the mind. And then the gear you use, well, then you work with that. Now, there's three things to making a photograph. And number one is you have to know your camera. There's no point in going to the extremes of pre-planning your location and then arriving and not knowing how to manage or use your camera as the conditions are changing. And as you know, with landscape photography, conditions change very, very quickly because it's all about the light. So you have to know your camera. You have to religiously know how to change settings without even looking at them. You should be able to look at a scene and know what sort of ISO you need, uh, what sort of shutter speed you need. Quite frankly, you should be able to go into a dark room and work out your controls without even looking at them. Well, if you're in a dark room, you probably wouldn't be able to see them. So knowing your camera and how to use it is very, very important. Number two, I believe be confident. Um, own the photograph. Own what you're photographing. I firmly believe when it comes to photography, especially landscape photography, you photograph not what you see, but what you feel. And if you can encompass that and have a 360 degree visual of the landscape that's in front of you, and you look at it as being, well, I really like this place, I love this place. If you can take that photograph with feeling, you are far more better off doing that than just taking a shot here or there and fingers crossed hoping it'll work out. And number three is preparation. Now, I often hear people say, well, just go out and take photographs. Well, that's fine, but preparation, I believe, is everything because there's a well-known saying that 
chance favours the prepared mind, and I believe in that. But then there are some times, yes, we can be out there and we can get lucky. But when it comes back to creating an image, you need to look at many factors of the scene in front of you. You need to look at the layers. You need to look at the structure, whether it's man-made or natural. And you also have to look at the light. I think that if you want to improve your landscape photography, don't try and match the scene in front of you to the light. What you have to do, you have to match the light to your scene. Now that might require you to have the camera at a low angle or high or even climb a ladder to get that perspective. So building the image and crafting an image, I think we have the responsibility to do that with Mother Nature and the landscape. So next time you go out with your camera, really start to think about what you're trying to achieve and try and own the moment. And what the idea really is, is that when you craft an image, I'm talking about building and crafting an image, not just a photograph, photographer here, you're, you're an artist. The idea is when you finish processing that, that photograph and people look at your photograph, you need to give them something. You need to draw their attention to what you're photographed. You need to have them feel how you felt when you press that shutter button. And you can only do that by following these, these steps. Embrace what nature has given us or given you. Build the image and give the viewer something. The idea is at the end of the day, when somebody looks at your photographs, you want them to feel how you felt when you push that shutter button. You actually want them to feel like they were standing next to you when you took that photograph. So photography, especially landscape photography, it's not complicated, but it does take a lot of work. Um, Pre-planning is, is very important, but to go out into the landscape and embrace it and get the feeling of what's in front of you, if you can do that on a constant basis, I can guarantee you 100% that your photography will improve tenfold. So it's all about looking at the scene, pre-planning what you have in mind, pre-visualise like Ansel Adams used to do, pre-visualise how you want the image to look when it's finished, not when it's first started. And as I said, give the viewer the feeling that they stood right next to you when you took that photograph. Because if they feel like they feel like they've they've been next to you when you've taken that photograph, then that means your photograph has worked. If the person viewing your image doesn't feel that way, well then maybe that is a failed image. So it's something we you really need to think about next time you go out with your camera in the landscape. Because at the end of the day, the landscape will be there forever, but it's up to us as landscape photographers how we interpret it and how we show people and tell people how we felt when they're looking at one of our images. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. This is a, a very good subject. And when I go out into the landscape, I take my time and I do all this. I might only take three or four images, but I know each and every one of them will convey the feeling that I felt when somebody looks at these photographs. So put your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to hear, hear from you and I'd certainly get back to you. Uh, if you're new to this channel, thank you for joining me here. I much appreciate it. I try and do these once, uh, once a week or once a fortnight, all depends on the workload. But I enjoy bringing these videos to each and every one of you. So until then, my name's Glenn Samuel. You've been watching Sniper Photography. And as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends. But most of all, you keep shooting and keep smiling. Bye for now.